Hi, it's Megan. So I have two of the lipsticks from the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass collection. And I have Alice and I have Mad Hatter. So right now on my lips I have Alice and then I've got Mr. Mo back here who, you know, the cats one day want to be in the video and the next day they don't. So today we've got Mo. Um, so what do I think? There were five lipstick shades and there were two that were kind of purple. There was one that was a red and I just bought so many Urban Decay reds with that Quinn collection. And then there was a blue and then there was um, the one I have on right now which is Alice which is what they call a sheer nude with pink shift. And if you remember the Gwen collection, it was a sheer nude without the pink shift. Um, and I bought a backup dupe for Gwen, ex-girlfriend. So you have the five lipsticks and then you have an eyeshadow palette all tied to the release of the Disney movie, Alice Through the Looking Glass. They're $18 for the lipsticks and they are 0.11 ounce. So you get the pretty elaborate packaging. And then you open it up and basically Urban Decay is in the process of switching their lipsticks from the Revolution to the Vice and the Gwen collection introduced this, not this, this like pattern, but this type of packaging which is a plastic bullet that comes out in a bullet instead of that flat Revolution lipstick that they have. Um, so this is Alice. It is not going to show up swatched on me at all because I have a yellow undertone, peachy undertone to my skin and when I have these sheer nudes on my skin I can actually barely see them let alone put it on video so I've taken an outdoor swatch because with this one you'll be able to see the pink shift but I'm gonna do it anyway. Ooh, it's really soft actually and I can promise you you're gonna barely see. You can see just little bits of shifts um, and so I'm gonna take it off and actually I usually don't reapply the first lipstick I start with, but so you can see it. And I've been wearing the other one today. So my lips are stained a little bit darker than normal. Slight purple tint. And so there it is. Um, on me, I definitely see that slight pink shift and it what it does is it's giving my lips a slight sheen like a glossy look to them and then kind of a subtle pink shift pink peach back and forth so I think of it when I look at it on my lips because it's lightening my lips it's like a light peachy maybe peachy orange and then it has an iridescent pink shimmer to it and it's neutral to maybe a little bit warm but on me it's actually kind of neutral in tone but I think it's going to vary based on your coloring as to how it kind of shifts and so this is feels like a slightly lighter revolution formula to me um, it feels like a slightly lighter balmy sort of a feel and it only wears about an hour on me um, the pink shift is kind of cool but it's also kind of subtle on me. So this shade I have to say I was slightly disappointed in. This was the one I was the most interested in getting and it does look pretty. I guess I'm just a little saturated with these sheer nudes that we've seen in 2016 and this one does have that pink duochrome shift thing going on but it's really subtle. So it is a very very pretty barely there sort of a shade that's maybe slightly to the right of just barely there. It is creamy, it's lightweight, it's a little bit hydrat hydrating, but you have to like the sheer finish. You have to want a slight duochrome on your lips, which is, it is kind of cool. I, I'm gonna ask something I almost never ask on videos. I actually bought all five of these lipsticks, but I was kind of underwhelmed, honestly, with the collection overall. And so I decided to only do a video for two. So if people think I should do the other three and not return them, and I rarely return used, and I rarely return not used products at this point, but I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. So I do really like the next lipstick, but I would love to get feedback as to whether people think I should keep the other three and do a video or whether I should return them. It's a rare request for a 
yay or nay. So this is the next one, and I like this one a lot more. So this is Mad Hatter, and I actually really do like this lipstick. It's not that I don't like Alice. I just think Alice is uh, very subtle. So. This one has a very similar feel. It has that light, balmy, slightly lighter than the Revolution lipstick feel to me. Very creamy, slightly moisturizing. It has a slight grittiness on the application with this one that I don't feel with Alice, but it doesn't affect the wear time and it doesn't wear away to just like gritty glitter. It wears away evenly and I don't see, when I'm out in the sunlight, I can see, oh, I just put it over the Alice because I can't even see the Alice on my wrist. So it's right here. That was putting it over Alice. Um, I don't, I see these like micro shimmer glistens and I see this kind of shifting shade thing going on with this one. This one is really stunning on. It's not something that's going to show up perfectly on camera just because it does have a real complexity and a depth and those tiny little micro shimmers which are so pretty. And it's, the shift is almost like a, a blue to the lavender, barely. So this is definitely not a full duochrome. So they call it a bright purple shimmer. And I would say it's a medium dark purple. I don't think it's particularly bright. And it's got cooler undertones with this, like I said, very fine, slightly metallic shimmer. Um, and the other one was sheer to slightly metallically pigmented. This one is a little bit more pigmented, but again, it's got a real sheerness to it, which the one thing that I thought was great about this collection of lipsticks was that they brought in some kind of unusual, like, you know, a blue, but they kept them sheer. And so I've read a lot of people saying that it's kind of nice to have a company that's giving you the option of trying something kind of out of your comfort zone, but with that slight sheerness, you don't have to have quite as dramatic a look on because it's going to pick up some of your natural color. This one, I just, I think this is an incredibly stunning lip color. I'm kind of sad that this is one of the ones that was selling out the fastest because I just, it's really, really beautiful on. Just really pretty um, and unusual. I don't have a dupe for this one. The closest one I could come up with is Kat Von D Wonder Child, but that's a very different sort of a purple. It's a bit lighter, a little bit more duochrome, a little bit less, I don't know, meat to the purple, if that makes sense. Anyway, those are the two I got, and I would love to hear thoughts, like I said, as to whether I should do a video for the other three. I'd probably just do a video for all five if I did that, um, or if I should just not do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe on YouTube because it does help me a lot. And if you have other stuff from the Alice collection, I'm still weighing whether I want my Alice or not. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.